Hey everyone, this is Daniel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how you can boost Power Virtual Agents conversations using GPT. Now, this is currently in preview. Preview means that you cannot just take this and go and put it in your production. However, you should get yourself familiar with it because this truly will boost your overall productivity. So let's go and start working on this. Here I am in my Power Virtual Agents and over here I'll go and click on the Try the Unified Canvas Preview. And when I click on it, you are very familiar with the section. However, right now in the bottom, you've got this link. What this means is that you can go ahead and place a website over here and, your, and the chat GPT will go ahead and actually get information from that. So when you're actually having a conversation in your chat bot, it will, if you ask a question regarding this website, the chat GPT will directly go with the open API, will go over here get the information and directly go and put that in your conversation. It does that automatically and I'm going to show that to you. So for my example, I'm going to come to my, one of my favorite websites over here. This is what it's called, Brick Owl. Brick Owl is a website and it is very comprehensive. It's a place I go ahead and get all my Lego parts from. Uh, and it's got a lot of information over here, all right? By the way, full disclosure, I'm not affiliated with Brick Owl. It's just a heavy we website that I use a lot. Um, so what I can do now is I can come over here, I can grab the link and I can go ahead and paste that directly into the website. This, my overall process over here is to make sure that my search for these Lego parts is a lot more easier because over here, it is comprehensive. It's got a lot of data, but you do have to spend some time searching for it and sometimes it gets a little tiring. But if you do it through a chatbot, through a conversation, it might get a little easier. So let's go test that. Now in the chatbot directly over here, there is a couple of things that you'd be aware of. In the URLs, you can only go two items deep. Let me explain what that means. So for example, in my Brick Owl, this is basically the website that we have, brickowl.com. Now I can go ahead and put in information such as the model. And when after the slash I put in model, there's no error. I can also go ahead and put in something called as the details, all right? I can do that in. Second level, no problem. If I put a third level in and I start typing something in, that's when I go and get an error. So remember, you can only go two items deep or two levels deep, all right? That's the important thing. Uh, so for my sense, I can, I'm just gonna go and make sure to the root. That's item number one. Item number two, you cannot go ahead and use websites which require authentication. And you know what I'm thinking about. Yes, you're right. You cannot use SharePoint sites for this. Especially, you know, those SharePoint sites which have a whole bunch of wikis in them, great information. Unfortunately, you cannot go ahead and use these right now because whether you, either you know it or not, you are still authenticating into those SharePoint sites and authentication is not allowed. So something to keep in mind. Well, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll put it in my chatbot. I'll say the live demo and I'll go ahead and I'll click on create. And now it is going ahead and creating your entire chatbot area over here, right? And this is something that you're already familiar with. Uh, it just take a few extra seconds to go and build all of this. It's working on it. Once it is done, it'll come up to another page and it'll still be working on it. So let's just go and let this thing get built. All right, so we're coming inside over here. On the top, it'll, you'll still say it's creating your bot when it's ready. So at least it got you in, gets you familiar with the environment, but it's still finishing your bot. Any second now, it'll actually tell you that it is completed and it will go ahead and now reset or re fresh your entire website over here. And there you go, what got created, it is going ahead and now resetting the entire page. And now we are ready to go ahead and build our entire bot. But guess what? We don't have to do anything over here because here's the one thing that I wanna clear any confusion. Uh, this is not like the process where you go actually to your topics and in the topic, when you create a new topic, you come actually to the place where you go ahead and pull the URL. No, this is not that type of functionality. You don't have to go ahead and scrap any data. This is automatically doing it for you. All you have to do is go ahead and put in the URL of the destination where you're pulling this information. But one thing I will do is I'll go ahead and turn off these lessons because sometimes that can get you a little bit confused. So I'll go ahead and make sure that these three lessons are turned off. All the other topics are good, so I'll leave it as is. Uh, but let's start testing it, all right? So over here on the left side, you can see that I've got my test bot. Um, and then also, I'll, let's go back to our brick owl. Let's go and at least find something that starts to make a little bit sense. Um, so right over here, I'm in the, in the best selling ones. I'm gonna click on that little Lego item. And in the Lego item, let's at least get what it is called. So it says Lego plate one by two, all right? So I'll just go ahead and now grab this information just so that I make sure I don't have any uh, errors, all right? So I'll just grab that and we'll come over here and I'll just paste this in, all right? I'm gonna just say something in. And so now I'm gonna hit enter. Now, when it is entering, remember, no topics were created for that, but the open API has directly gone to that website and found the closest resemblance to what I was asking in my conversation. And it gave me these links. So if I were to just go and click on any one of them, 
it will go ahead and now open up the nearest Lego part that I'm looking for. So it's loading it. And just to make sure, if I go and open up the other tabs, you see that it's the exact same thing we went and looked over here. Remember, no topics were added, no logic was built. This was the power of Open API directly built into it. Um, so let's actually do some little bit more testing, okay? So if I just went in and say Lego Batman Mini Fig, all right? I just typed in what I knew. Again, it is going ahead and using the Open API. It is directly going and talking to the website. And right here, it says, we have Lego Batman minifigures available for our purchases. Here are the link. If I just go and click a search on it, you will see that these are what it is called, Lego Batmans. And the names are so different. Like right over here, there is the Lego, the Joker minifigure, right? That is not what I typed in. In fact, if you see, I typed in Lego, uppercase L, L-E-G-O. So we know that it is not sensitive to how you type that in. But this is the power of how that GPT directly works in your Power Virtual Agents. And remember, no additional work was done. All you had to do was go ahead and put in the URL of a website that doesn't require authentication. So finally, I just wanna go and take a look at the settings. In the settings, you've got this AI capabilities. And when you go and click on the AI capabilities, it gives you all of this information. So it says that, okay, this is the URL we went and put in. We've selected it, so it went and made it a check mark, all right? Which means it is boosting it, it is going and adding that to your conversation. Uh, there's a few other things you can do. You can go in and say, okay, I want to actually keep it at different levels. So there's the high default, and then after that there's medium, and then there's low. High means that the bot generates fewer answers, but the responses are more relevant, that's the high. Low means the bot generates the most answers, but there could be some inaccuracies in the response. I get it, it is completely valid, okay? Considering what all it does, is completely valid. And then finally, you've got the option for apply for early access. You click on it, it will go ahead and take you to another website, takes you to a form, and you just gotta fill out the form uh, to put in all this information. So this is the power of the Open API GPT, which is now available directly in your Power Virtual Agents. Remember, it is in preview, but I highly, highly recommend you start playing with it.